Welcome back. Cockhammer doesn't have an arm. That's all the recap you get. Moving on. <laughs> so, so uh, first, you guys are outside, Sarif, holding the bleeding Cockhammer as he uh, wails uh, with one arm. And uh, as Iris sort of uh, runs out the tent, tying the sort of robe uh, loosely around her. Um, what? what oh my god, what, what, what have you done? Uh, do you still have the other arm? Um, no. N- no? Yes. Yes. Uh, no. No? Big Panda has it. No. Why did it destroy it? Ah. It blew up. It, it blew up? It blew up. Oh, um, right. Roll a fucking deception check. <laughs> it's passed out on the floor of her tent, I don't know. And a con check. Save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was again. <laughs> Jesus, oh, Christ. Jesus Christ. You managed to skirt the edge of consciousness briefly for an, another few moments. Um, uh, right, sure, I uh, believe you, yeah. Uh, let's, do you need, we need to find a healer. We don't have he. oh god. Um, uh, we tried that, it didn't really do much, to be honest. Might yeah. be because we're knackered, but yeah, he... Uh, I don't... Pandor couldn't do much. Does it look like you can give it a couple of hours? Uh... Wait a minute. Cockhammer! Cockhammer, is this to try and get another arm? I would never! <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Uh... Well, you might have Help. to. Sorry. Um, I'm sh- I think we can make it identical to your previous... Uh, g- come on. Oh, she's gonna... uh, no skin would be fine. She's going to try and lead you towards... Uh... No skin. <laughs> <sighs> Someone's going to get out of contest. Uh, yeah, she she well, leads you guys horribly towards... Is anyone like, watching the... us? Like, like, what the fuck's going on? Or anything? Uh, there's a couple. You see a couple faces and robotic head-shaped objects. Um, when I see the robots, I'm gonna just be like a bit uncomfortable. Yeah, uh, she, she lead, <laughs> leads you sort of towards Pius, um, and as uh, she does so, one of them, one of these uh, robots that looks mostly human, um, comes out, and he sort of pulls off, uh, or like pulls open a flap in his arm and starts pulling out bandage from inside, and. Um, Cockhammer, he starts like winding it around your arm to try and stem the bleeding. Hold on, oh, what a round stump. Yeah. Ow, ow, thank you, thank you, ow, thank you. Uh, and he's just. Uh, hold, 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 hold still, hold still. Look, come on, oh, you fuck, you're getting blood everywhere. Stop it, stop, stop bleeding. Sorry, thank you, sorry, ow. Oh, stop. Just stop moving, you're bleeding. Try. Yeah, well, stop moving so much. Oh, God, you're bleeding. Mm. Why? My sword goes on fire if you want that. What? what? Swords aren't helpful, he's already got a hole. <laughs> well, no, but it goes on fire. What? Very Why? nice. Oh, you're not open. Oh, yes. I mean, he did ask me to. <laughs> you get a really confused look <laughs> from this mostly human looking robot whose eyes appear to be slightly bigger than they should be. Like, just. Like, have you seen the, oh, the fucking... God. <laughs> have you, oh, have God! Have you seen That's the trailer from... Us. Yeah, have you seen the trailer for Akita to Battle Angel, or whatever it is? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Horrible. They're, like, that size. They're oh, just no. slightly wrong. And he gives you this really quizzical look. And, uh, r- right, sure. Um, right, yeah, well, I'm gonna go. Make sure you get that scene, too. It's not gonna last. And he sort of just backs away from the two of you. Help. Yep, yeah, we, we can help to... <sighs> Sorry, thank you. Ow. You see um, the sort of horns on uh, Iris's headpiece begin to briefly light up again for a little moment before dulling. And um, as you're brought to uh, what's the name? To, uh, to fucking to Pius. For the second time today, 
most of your uh, bleeding has been somewhat quenched for now, Kokama. You're not no longer bleeding out. You will live. Just sort of. Uh, Just hurts. a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and as Iris sort of leads you guys in, Pius is sat there, in the exact same place she was before. And she looks up towards you. Greetings. What can I help you with? Ow. She looks to cock hammer. Right. I see you've lost an arm. Yeah. What an unfortunate accident, <laughs> I presume. Going to look very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, ow. Wonderful. Well, I assume you're here for a replacement. Is, is that a thing you can do? Is we, it not just whole things? We could try and place you whole, but I don't think it would go well. No, 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 I just... This is, oh, ow. We can replace your arm, yes. You, uh... may experience some discomfort. Uh, I, I, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think he already is. Not going to lie. We do have some... spare around. We can fit you with a socket immediately. That will at least stem the bleeding and aid in your recovery. And we can talk about a specific arm later. However, that thing, yeah, that would set you back around three thousand gold pieces. I cannot, uh, I cannot be refunded in half for this. I still have those those further away. You do appear to have a vertebrae. No, I mean the the, the three big ones I showed. Right. Then I I guess some of the, the coin. You would like to trade those in. Three vertebrae for a an arm. I've got some bones as well. If you want it. <laughs> The vertebrae will suffice, although I suppose okay. we can trade bones later. <laughs> Wonderful. Now that you say it, it sounds really strange. She just sits there, looks at you. Blankly. Just try and get the we'll chest give you a wink if she had eyes. <laughs> no, no. It's just a blank expression. Because she doesn't oh, have a so... face. Could, could, uh, could you help getting these out, please? It's Reeve. Hmm? It's, it's Reeve, I assume. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Okay. I just pick them out. Okay, yeah, you pull out these three large vertebrae one at a time. They're pretty fucking big. Uh huh. And you place them down. She takes them. Wonderful. Um, Iris will lead you to. An area where we have um, dealt with such repairs to organic bodies before. We will immediately attempt to aid you. Um, and with that, like, she sort of sits back, takes one of the vertebrae and starts, like, inspecting it. And Iris, who's still by the entrance, laps, like, ah, come with me then, I guess? Uh, weren't the vertebrae like a thousand total? Each. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's three of them. Cool. Well, you got three yeah. of them, but yeah, they're, they're worth about a thousand each. Uh, cause they're, they're very powerful, like reagents for potions and spells and stuff. I'll follow Iris. Okay. Yeah, yeah you, uh, you trade. You, you, trade, you follow I, Iris. Um, no, oh, okay. Are you just going to sit there or are you going with them? 
I'm just fucking sitting there. <laughs> okay. I look really awkward. I'm just gonna like, there, is, is he is he allowed to follow or not? It's what's what? Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, all right. Uh, no, I'm gonna come along. It's not building. That's different. It's just repairing. Okay. Oh. I just like for play or something. Uh, no. No. Oh, okay. I don't think you. Is that how that works? Do you build half a person? That's... I'd say you stitch someone's arm before you like copulate. That's a bit weird. This is all. This is Normally, all I just cut a, them off. This is all just Let's a dream. Find I'll, someone I'll, else. Wait, I'll wake up soon. This is all just a dream. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, it's not. Yeah. The Dutch word for stitching is also like that's uh, exactly also like means screwing, something so. someone in the dream would say. Wait a minute. Right. Cool, Gamma, do you actually think this is a dream? I mean, I don't, I don't know, maybe? I'm not completely awake. Do you normally feel pain when you dream? <laughs> yeah, it's a little normal. Do you normally feel this much pain? I'm gonna poke a stump. <laughs> what even was that? No. Yeah, uh, it is excruciating, Jerry. He like just pokes you in the stump. Not pretty hard. Yeah, but, but it's, it's a fire. fucking stump because it's like it's raw not... bone. It's it not hurts. Just a stump. The French like stumble stump. over. <laughs> well, just pick him up before he falls. Okay, yeah, you tr you got to pick him up under both arms, and it's like, oh, well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of like a lot more effective on one side. Ah, uh, uh, mm, right. <laughs> you pick him up. Yes. Pick him up both arms, and he just starts screaming again. Like, wait, what's wrong? Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you, you, might, you, yeah, you, you carry him, and Iris leads you over to one of the. Tents uh, that has like a, a cold metal table on it with a number of uh, dangerous looking pieces of equipment around it. Mostly like just racks upon racks of like scalpels and like little uh, like hammers and um, like watchmaker's hammer type hammers and like dentistry equipment and that kind of stuff. Uh, um, just looks like a fun place. Um, no, not really. Uh, car camera, if, if you. Lie on the table. Ah, okay. And um, a. How high is the table? Uh, it's about three feet off the ground. Okay, I will lift them up. <laughs> and yeah, uh, and this um. <laughs> Just lift a bit like the one arm. <laughs> yeah. One of one of the uh, the large, uh, like sentry guys that you saw that are like ten feet tall have like a triangular face. Like a light instead of eyes and whatever. Um, like similar to the ones that you fought. You fought before. One of those guys comes out. Except he's uh, doesn't appear to have his weapon with him. Instead he has... Um, his hands have been replaced with much finer, uh, more delicate hands. That appear to be almost um, like a collection of tentacles. That sort of bend however he needs them to. Ah, uh, they're gonna fuck, uh, fuck him. No, because this. Style. I was about to say this isn't anime, outside. but yeah, it is. <sighs> and with that, I think we're gonna fade to black there, because. Good morning. They don't have anaesthetic. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> you hear Cockhammer screaming for the next about half hour. <laughs> In I, just yeah. agony. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gonna like grab like my leather glove or something just by that. Yeah, I'm going it, to begin to feel guilty. It's not really enough. And eventually Kokama, after about sort of half an hour, you will pass out. And the screaming stops. And I about have been paying attention to what it was doing. Yeah. Or attempted to. Yeah, you <laughs> you try. Uh it's very difficult, but he cuts pieces of your shoulder off, pulls your collarbone out, or like one half a collarbone pulls out ribs, starts, like, cutting into your chest somewhat. Ew. Like, se secure this thing to your... And, like, it, uh, by the by the point you get to the point where you can almost see one of your lungs, you cut, just Ooh. pass out. Mm -hmm. You're just unable to, to sustain yourself from that. 
Good night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he the, the guy's just peeled off part of his chest. Um, he's taking. <laughs> Yeah, basically, he's taking off the, the, pe- the pectoral muscle, uh, and all of that area, that whole area, is being removed so that it can be replaced with machinery and be like bolted like, into his rib cage and stuff better. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Cogham, you awake, um, with an arm that aches like a motherfucker. About four, five hours later, you're lying on a very cold table. But it's also, you know, surrounded by warm blood, so that's wonderful. <laughs> uh, it's actually not as cold as you'd think, but it's it's cold, battle table. You have no not got an arm. Instead, you have no top anymore. Um, and the right sort of pectoral muscle from, uh, like, about halfway up the rib cage upwards, up across your shoulder and, like, down the back all of that area, sort of going right up to the neck, is metallic. It's sort of made of this hard, dark metal. And you have an empty socket instead of a joint where an arm is. There's just sort of a a plate with a stump with some, like, wires and bits sticking out of it. Phase two completed. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) It's... Like, it aches, it hurts, you feel exhausted, you, like, try and stand, and you realize you can't stand, because... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look around to see if my stuff is somewhere. Yeah, yeah you think you see your stuff, but... Kokama, you are at... Uh, I believe it's, what, well, the max before dying is five exhaustion? You're at that. Six, yeah, um... but you're fucking dead. Yeah, then yeah, you were at five exhaustion. It's the yeah, one before dying. Yeah, if you don't dying. sleep you die. <laughs> Hybrid, <Not> too. Necessarily. <laughs> uh, was... Was that taking me a long rest? Uh... <laughs> you just look up in your fucking... <laughs> amputation <laughs> juice code. Is that the question go... you're asking right now? I'm gonna <laughs> go with... Not... F- no. I, I feel okay. like saying no, but also technically, I guess it was, because oh you were God. unconscious the whole time. <laughs> but also, but you like, to sleep mm, by coke mm, Yes. All right. Fine. Technically, it is. <laughs> Sarif, are you sleeping at all? Or are you gonna wait for him? I will. I'll wait for like another. Ask someone like, is he dead? Okay, uh, uh, they'll be like, like is he... no, he's st- they're still working on him. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go to sleep very, very guiltily. Okay, I, I, I'm beginning to feel like maybe this wasn't a good idea. So... You're beginning to feel that, are you? Permanently crippled, my friend. Maybe that was the good I mean, idea. I'm go not sure yet. Him. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> ah, the lizard folk. <laughs> This might have been a bad idea. Yeah, you, you crippled him three days ago. It's a bit late now. <laughs> like, you know, I feel, I feel sort of bad about that in hindsight. Like, man, what a bummer. It, it does say in Volos that they have an alien mind. So... Yeah, that's sort of... Sort of uncompassionate, I believe. It's like, yeah, that's a, yeah. It kind of fits. A little, but uh, I mean, I've not been playing it that way. But... Yeah, but... <laughs> Mostly because it's way more fun as he is, because Saru's great, but like, yeah. Yeah, I'm not yeah. <laughs> So I guess the rest of us level up then. Yeah, so you guys can level now. Hey, fine. Right. Should I bother? Uh, well, you see. You see. Oh boy. Yeah, Matthias can his new, his new boy form. Matthias can't take long rests currently, so. <gasps> I broke the magic barrier. You did it. Oh for fuck's yep. sake! <laughs> oh, got it. Got the two hundred boys. Technically, my HP is currently sixty-seven. <laughs> Technically, can it take? Do we have to take like a fifth off it because he's lost a limb? Yeah, uh, I was gonna yeah. say that. I mean, it's yeah, like hit points maximum is halved by my exertion. Yeah. Oh, oh Jesus! 
Yeah. Your hit point maximum is oh, unaffected no, by the loss of limb because you've had it replaced with a metallic substitute currently. There is no arm there that, uh, yeah. that, they'll, that they will talk about later. Speaking of, Kogama, tired as you are, barely able to stay awake, you find yourself on the verge of slipping in and out of sleep. And you blink, and the lights go dark as nighttime rolls around. You blink again. It's still dark. And then again, and it appears to be nearing morning, as essentially you spend the entire day slipping in and out of consciousness, barely able to stay awake and barely able to, uh, to think or move. You know, because you just had an arm replaced without an aesthetic, and Jesus fuck. Badass. Uh, mm, that's one word, I guess, that I would Stupid. not assign to the it. Other. Yeah, that's closer, yeah. There's a very. Um, there's a fine line. There's a fine line, yeah. And you're well over. Um, it. And boy, are you using a point seven it. fine liner. <laughs> I also like how Kokka would like sorcery chop two things very well against straw. I was like, you know what? This is good enough for me. If it works for <laughs> horse food, it works for me. Well, it, uh. I guess kind of did. He was going for this after all. Oh, yeah, no, he achieved his goal. I just don't. <sighs> I feel like the goal may have been slightly misaligned with, uh. What people would refer to as a sane objective, but I think mm. Cole Cameras misaligned with the same. Maybe a little. <laughs> yeah, just a touch <laughs> off off center there. So Cole Camera, basically you're out of the picture this day. Okay. Is there anything that anyone who's not Cole Camera wants to do? <laughs> or Matthias. You are Someone also in a jar in the dark all day oh with no sensory input, Matthias. <laughs> I would like to tell if me and Akane meet up in the morning, I'd like to tell Akane about a crazy dream I had. <laughs> I'm not going to see Pando because I'm going to be, um, I will be like staying with, um, what do you call him? Uh, Kokama. For okay. a while, making sure he is like alive. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, he does seem to be. Yeah, you, you, you don't see them, Pando, when you wake up, but yeah, you've had a weird ass dream last night. Mm, yeah, you find people. And, do, I, uh, do I find a Kane first, or do I find uh, the duo of uh, uh, the you, you look around. Um, yeah, I suppose you'd find a Kane first because she, you know, slept. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, a Kane, a Kane, a Kane, a Kane. I wake up, a Kane, Rick. I steal all her money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I take her spell book. She's a sorcerer. I kill Alice in UVG. Okay, he's actually probably. <laughs> God damn it, Rick. I complain about how awful the character Illith is. Okay, yeah, definitely. Can someone... Hey, that's my job. Can I will... <laughs> Thank you. I've pinged him. He's not a woken. Oh. Oh, that's clear. No. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh-huh. No, I was listening in the... Yeah. Kokama's arm was cut off, oh. he was slipping in and out of consciousness. Yeah, you were listening in until we started tightening his... we tried to get your attention, then you didn't. The, 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 like, the, you were trying yeah. to get... Oh. Yes. You know how I said Akane, 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 you didn't respond, and I said Rick, like, and I did. didn't think that would provoke yeah. you. That's... The weird thing is, it was like a minute ago with that the last thing you remembered was. Yeah. 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 So, you, feel, you, you haven't missed much, don't worry. Yeah, you probably but, like, like, three seconds ago. You missed right? Pandal found you. That's all yeah, you that's missed. That's pretty all you missed out on. <laughs> yeah, How did that happen? I don't know. You, probably. Uh, Akane, Akane, Akane! Where? Where? I don't know where the others are, but I'd have to tell you. I had a fucking crazy dream last night. Alright, yeah, so... Yeah, well, I was I was sleeping in Iris's tent, and then like I don't know, I was awoken because like because because Sarif, right? Get this, it's fucking funny. So <laughs> Cockhammer told Sarif to cut his arm off, not like Sarif cut his own arm off, like Sarif cut Cockhammer's arm off, and Sarif was like, okay, sure, this seems like a good plan. So he did it, and then Cockhammer's <laughs> arm was like on the floor of the tent. It was whatever, dude. It was crazy. You should have seen it. It was so good. 
And then, like, Coco was all like, oh, you have to destroy it. Matthias has possessed the arm. And, and Serene was like, what? And then I was like, oh, Matthias doesn't possess arms. He's in a jar. Oh, it was great. We should find the others. How was your dreams? Uh, I don't remember. Not as funny as yours. You missed out. It's great. We should go find the others. I'm like, I guess we're going to go try and find the other two. Okay. Yeah. Um. Like ask around for like, oh, I was, was, was <laughs> cock and Sarif. What are they doing right now? Yeah, you get pointed in the direction of um one of the tents. Okay. That happens to have one dwarf with 1.1 arms. I'm just gonna like go ahead and like open the door and be like, guys, you'll never believe the dr- oh, <laughs> uh, sure I'm just gonna like, like sit in there, just hands behind my head, just crossed legs, just <laughs> looking really happy to be honest, uh, like, I'm pretty relaxed, yeah, it's fine. Point at Cork Hammer. Like, yeah, shape, uh, point Cork at Sarif, point at Cork Hammer again. Cork Hammer's no, lying on a Cork metal table happen. with- uh, like a pillow has been put under his head while he was asleep by a uh, big, big tentacle hand robot man. Um, <laughs> and he is just lying asleep with uh, with a blanket over him. With, uh, oh, notably, one arm. Ha! Huh. Like looking between Hello. the two of them. What did you do? I got his arm off. Why? Why? He asked me to. Why? Do he I... spy you what he was doing? I seems happy don't enough, think so... he is. I... He's unconscious. He yeah, he happy, was, to be fair. yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, but, but he woke up early and he was, like, really excited and stuff, so, I mean, he's alright. Where right. did his arm go? Uh, Pandle's know. bag, I think. Is my bag? Your bag? Why did you have to do back? It exploded. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Uh, wait! I'm just gonna look around, is there anyone here? Uh, no, there's just you guys. Okay, it's in Pandle's back. It exploded. <laughs> I'll like, I'm gonna reach to my bag of holding and go, go dwarf arm, and then have a dwarf arm and be like, oh, crikey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you grab a hand. <laughs> like you, you take his hand. <laughs> yeah, do, I, do I feel the hat in the bag? Yeah, you just you, you put your hand in. You're like, hmm, and you like you feel around and you, you grab something. You're like, ha, huh, that feels like a handshake. <laughs> Stop. It's the right arm for a handshake too. <laughs> I don't yeah, think he do. He wants people to know. Have his arm in my bag. Do you know how bad this makes me look? <laughs> <laughs> He's just mumbling in his sleep. What if he died of blood loss, Sarif? I might be really your did. accomplice. Oh, I was almost your accomplice, Sarif. Don't you remember you killing you him? You have arm in your no, back. I thought I just had a dream and I laughed and then fell back asleep. Yeah, you right, slapped him in the face with his own arm. Pretty <laughs> good, to be honest. Fun. Yeah, <laughs> that was a pretty good one. I would do it. Wait, why does he not want people to know? I'm so confused. I don't know, he's being well, why don't you weird, just lay like, his arm like next to him? Maybe they can reattach it. I don't think. Uh, I, was, I was assume great arrest doesn't work if there's all this fucking metal lark in the way. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, it's it great. not gonna work. Also, great arrest doesn't attach limbs. Literally, only regenerate. Yeah, it has to be regenerate. Yeah, so. only way to do it. Even the like ninth level like power word heal and shit won't do it. Wish yep. or regenerate because wish or can also be regenerate. That's the only way. Yep. Yeah, welcome to uh, the aids of attach attaching limbs in D&D. &D. Yay! Yep. It's why I normally don't have rules for this. But I guess we sort of had to improvise. Didn't we, guys? <laughs> I guess we did. Life is all about balance. Well, just lay his arm down next to the well, He doesn't know. Yeah. He's like, maybe he's got like a plan, maybe he's gonna... Well, we tried to give him a bat back He kept telling you to blow better. it up. Oh, we make it explode. We have something that makes it explode. Uh, I could, I could, got it some more. I don't, maybe we should keep it as a souvenir, and then one day when he like he's like having a great day, we can be like, so here's your arm back. By the way, just give it to him and see what he does. 
<laughs> Fuck you, I love that. I have a better idea. Uh-huh. We keep it for a while. Oh. And then, oh. one day, we just leave it in his bed. <laughs> That's a good- I like the way he thinks. So. Just like, hand in the pocket. <laughs> yeah. We could hand it in, that's good. I like that. Yeah. That's, that's clever. <laughs> I, d I think that's a good idea. Should we do it? I think so. <laughs> okay. Next time when you ask, can you give me a hand? <laughs> <gasps> Wait, okay. Oh, oh, double, double new plan. Mm. Give me it to Cockhammer's <laughs> fine and all, but he says that he thinks it exploded, yeah? Yeah. I think yeah. it exploded. Akane thinks it exploded. Sreev thinks it exploded. Matthias wasn't here. We'll have to tell him what happened. Oh, One day, yeah. you know, in his new metal body, everything's going great. We just leave like an arm just draped across his chest. <laughs> I feel like that's a bit mean to Matthias. He's been through a lot. Actually, that's true. It's kind of lost his body. I found it. It's... I actually like, yeah, that's a bit like. I boring. mean, it's also his own fault. I mean, I was guess it? so is Cockhammers, yeah. yeah it's the, they I kind of both did this to themselves, to be honest. I mean, yeah. Matthias fucked with weird magic. No, Sarif, what are you doing? No, <laughs> what Sarif, kind of choose? <laughs> no, Sarif, don't take it in there. He's just gonna, like, <laughs> pat him with the head. He's <laughs> just, like, mumbling in his sleep. No, don't stick it there, Sarif. No, no, don't. Jesus, Rick. Don't slice me there, that is my no no square. That is my no no square. I meant my arm, not my third leg. Oh my don't god. Slice, don't, don't slice me there, that is my no no tail. Look how that actually used to be a T flick. <laughs> 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 so that's no, no, squished by something else. That's yeah, my he got smushed uh, and then he had a... <laughs> that's my reverse well, maybe they just cut his midriff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Please wait. stop, Rick. <laughs> yeah, stop yourself, Rick. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I have nothing else to really do. I guess I'm gonna stay with... I, actually, I will stay with Cockhammer most of the day. I would like to check up on how Matthias' body's going. Be like, hey, is it happening? Cool, keep copulating over there. Have a great time. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, they're like, yeah, we're in the process of building it. We, we're we not showing you anything. They'll show you Matthias. They're like, Matthias, I've, like, yeah, some time passes. You've no concept of how long it's been. Eventually, the cloth is removed from your from your jar. You see Pandal, like, peering in at you as you've been held up to, uh, to him by Pius. Matthias is still red as fuck, and as soon as the light shines in, he's going to grow absolutely nuts in that jar. <laughs> <laughs> it would it would appear that he does like not enjoy the job. The guy has gone. Let me out! Let me the fuck out! I thought you wanted a new body. What the fuck is wrong with you? Dude, I don't want to be in this fucking job. Well, you won't be for much longer, you selfish git. Trust me. Look, I had a crazy dream last night, and then <laughs> let me tell Why you. Let me the fuck out. <laughs> No, and I'm just gonna like put my <laughs> on the uh, bias, put the cloth over it again. Yeah, she does. Oh it would appear that he uh, does not enjoy this. Well, you know, he's always gonna complain about something. <laughs> Indeed. Like he's making progress. I'm proud of him. He hasn't like exploded from boredom yet. It's very impressive. Can we give him a volume slider? <laughs> and what? Like, you know, if he whines too much, we can just put this volume down. No, that would not be possible. Oh, It's a good idea, though. You could try putting a hand over his mouth. <laughs> That's a good shout, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Does his body come with, like, um, a fitting uh, gag? <laughs> no. What are the oh. strength of his, like, his jaw? What's... It's... She sort of like looks at you questioningly. Well, if I'm you want... my hand in front of his mouth, I don't want to like, die. If you want to do weird sex things with it, that's up to you. <laughs> but we don't sell those. <laughs> Wait, we're not the no, not... <laughs> She just kind of looks at you just, just blankly. I'm just gonna just, like, smile back, look at you. 
It's, it's the kind of blank that's just disappointed. It's the kind of blank that's just, I don't have a face. <laughs> I'm not angry. Yeah, you, she is disappointed. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> is. <laughs> we all Probably, yeah. doesn't feel as fucking disappointed. Yeah, I don't know, that's all it is. Okay, she t yeah, she, like, takes the, uh, what do you call it, the fucking, the jar and places it back down. Matthias, you see the, the table underneath before the cloth is, like, fully put over you and, yep, you're blind again. Yay. Confined to your prison. It's actually not very long after oh, that, cool. Matthias, that eventually you are brought into a room. Do you suspect? You feel the jar is sort of jostled around you. You know, because you get bumped into the side of it and, like, pushed around by the jar itself. But, uh, you're still covered by the cloth and the hand is deliberately keeping it that way. And eventually, um, you find yourself sort of placed next to this piece of metal. And the top of the jar is unscrewed. That's okay. not really screwed, it's uncorked. As the uh, as, as the cloth comes away, you see what appears to be skin that has been peeled back on someone's lower back, just pulled open, as if it's been split along the spine, just pulled open to reveal a metallic skeleton. Uh, well, so sort of skeleton underneath, and there's a, a hole of some kind. You feel it pulling on you, and you, as you try not to, you feel yourself being drawn in towards it. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, you try, you try and resist. You try and pull away, but you can't. And this thing slowly pulls you in towards it. And a few moments later, you find yourself in a body that feels a lot like your own body. Like your old one. Oh. Okay, except for one major difference. <laughs> you are two feet nine inches tall. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. And you are to proportion that you used to be. Oh, you're so small. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you're so small. He's so cute. You are tiny. Well, actually, technically, you're just small. So your movement speed is 25 feet. You oh were. Uh... Yeah, you're now a small you're, creature. You are legitimately less than half but, the height of Sorive. But you can fly. <laughs> yeah, you have a flight speed of 15 feet. Oh my god. Uh, Hang on. This needs to go on my character sheet. You have dark vision, 30 feet, and you have basically the uh, fucking memory thing. What's the flying speed? Back up 15 right. feet. 15, 1, 5. Yes. Um, dark vision, you said? Uh, Only 30 feet? Yikes. Oh, sorry, no, it's 120. I thought it was 30. Oh, <laughs> oh okay wow. then. What a small mistake. <laughs> yes, your eyelid's pretty good. You're welcome. Yeah. And what's the memory thing? Uh, it is... Well, here, I will stick is them it all... Keen mind forever? It's not keen mind, is it? It's not quite keen mind. It's pretty close. That's the post jets. Yes, that's pause. Uh, that's These are just the thing. Like speed thingy. You get, yeah, because there, there's like a little bit more. Then there's dark vision, and then, um, yeah. To, to do. These are technically racial bonuses now. Yes. These are modules. There you go. Mm -hmm. So it, it's basically keen mind, but it um, it is missing like a few pieces. But yeah, it's, it's essentially keen mind. It's uh, yeah, it's normally one of the things because you you pick these when you when you start. You you know you can make it. But can I use that to make a spell book? Um, no. Oh come on, <laughs> damn it, retroactive, dude. Well, first of all, yeah, it's not retroactive. Second of all, no. 
you're gonna still need some form of storage. Uh, storage of information. It <laughs> just has a USB drive. Backup drives. <laughs> it's backup it's, drives. Pin yeah, drive. Fuck's sake. I mean, I guess. See, I'm proud of all of us this session. <laughs> yeah, so far I, this has gone I, really well. Revenge is sweet, Korkama's getting a sweet you. Um, everything's going well. I mean, you're proud of all of us. I didn't do shit. So. I'm gonna start <laughs> looking myself over. I'm proud of you, you're the only one who hasn't hurt anybody, lost yeah, an arm, no or acquired a new body this awful session. Awful. Or feel awfully yeah. guilty about doing so. <laughs> I don't fair feel guilty anymore. That's yeah. actually that's fair. What Kyle Cameron said that's cool. You're right. He said it was okay, so I'm fine. Uh, yeah, right. Fair. Right. Sorry. What was it you were doing with us? I'm gonna start looking myself over. Like. Okay. Uh, as soon yeah. as you try and move, um, and like, there's a number of these. The the huge, like, ten foot tall, uh, guys, like, like immediately restrain you, and they, they're like, whoa, you can't, like, can't, whoa, what? You, you can't do that. You gotta, okay. Got to be careful, got to take this slowly, don't. And they're going to start walking you through how to control a body for uh, for the next day, essentially. Okay, the calmness is going to um, gonna last all of 0.5 seconds till Matthias realizes he's a midget. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's going to throw an absolute bit. <laughs> yeah, you find... <laughs> you find uh, they're not happy with this. And uh, it's sort of like... You you can feel you're damaging yourself. It's weird. It feels like being hurt, but it feels really weird as you can feel your your like your wiring and stuff being like messed with as you start throwing a fit. I've been damaging myself for the past week. Do you think Matthias even notices or I, registers properly? Potentially not. But as you do so, they try and restrain you and try and stop it as much as possible. But there's still some. It'll stop eventually. There's still some significant damage, and it is going to take a couple more hours because they're going to have to fix it. Well done, you fucked it up. I am also going to say to the other people, uh, I'm just going to say, what if we just didn't tell him anything? We just act like this is normal, pointing it. Can't, uh, can't we slap him with first? Can we slap him with Gokhamer's arm? Five foot nine. Two foot nine. It's five foot nine, five I'm sorry. Two foot nine. Two foot nine. Your size yeah, is you now are small. You are less than half the height of Sir Eve. That's smaller than me. You don't even my reach age, my waist. What's my age? Zero? Uh, <laughs> no, it's the exact same as it was before. Oh, what's my, what's my weight? 75 plus 2d8 pounds. Um, allow me to roll to the 8 then. Where's my dice? Okay, fuck it. Well, guys, I've, su I've successfully converted the half-elf warlock into an automaton <laughs> wizard. Dude, I, we've actually, like, proper changed everything about 86 <laughs> pounds. Oh Jesus. My God. It's okay. We've also de-armed the wizard. Okay, um, <laughs> should I roll <laughs> I three know. sets of stats then? Yeah, I think about now. How does so, that work again? 4d6, key plus 3? Yeah, now the question is... In order. Do we do them in order? Because I, I no. kind of think you should do them in order just because you don't no. really get much of a choice and it's kind of memes. Oh, I don't, don't make him do it in order. I, yeah, I, 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 would, I think order. it would be interesting to, for him to do it in order, but I wouldn't force him to. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of the same. I'm not, I'm not going to force you, but I, I think, I I think you should, but I'm not going to force you to. I, I, I really don't want to, because I'm... I need my dicks back because I need some you form need of your dicks back. Do you? Do you? Don't get hit. You're, you're, you're a wizard though. Don't get yeah. hit. Major armor. Look, Beam. all I'm gonna say is I'm gonna be super salty if I'd have a 19 in strength and bullshit in the rest. Strongest wizard in the West. Yeah, you'd be a muscle <laughs> wizard, dude. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, 12. 13. 13. Could you have picked the whole media Thank you, Talo. It's just lame. <laughs> the Trinity has smiled. Fuck's sake. 
You know what? I'm gonna plunk him down in order. Fuck you. There you go. Hey, Look at that. It as well. Does it make a fucking difference? You might as well. It's basically exactly what you wanted, aren't they? Oh, for fuck's sake. Normally, you would get a plus two and a plus one, or three plus ones from being an automaton. Um, you are keeping your mental stats, so I will give you a plus two or two plus ones. Just, Ooh, uh... Man. That's pretty good. Because... Because hey. <laughs> he doesn't want to be a complete asshole. <laughs> and also because the stats are awful. Um... <laughs> yeah, that's okay. They're, all right. uh, they're fine yeah. for a non-physical character. Yeah. Yeah, but like, yeah. I thought it was good mentors anyway. They were right. boring as fuck though. There's like no memes to be had here. Yeah, you rolled. One of them's literally <laughs> just fours and a five, and one of them's two fours, a three, and a one. Four, three, five, two. That would be pretty funny if you, like, rolled them in order and got, like, a, I don't know, like, a, a four in, in strength and, like, like, a six in constitution. Just like, Ooh. we built you a body, but it's kind of shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Gav, you should complain about these stats not being memes. This entire new body is the most memes thing. <laughs> That's the only thing that you have a flying speed now. I gave you a flag speed because I thought you'd appreciate it. Actually, <laughs> Gav, yeah. here's a thought. Just before we, we effectively lock these in, I will allow you to change them out if you want with 3d20. Oh, Jesus. In order Christ. right now, we're what doing it. Oh, no. This can only go well. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. This is awful. This is awful. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. The rest of the could go. <laughs> and it went both. What are you actually rolling now? He's rolling, I, I'm letting him re roll his stats, but with 3d20. I rolled a 17 on strength, a 1 on dexterity, and a 17 on <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, oh <laughs> you're gone. Yeah. Whatever you do, yeah. do not make a monster that deals dexterity damage. I've got a great idea, guys, well, and it's AoE dexterity yeah. damage with a save for half. <laughs> <laughs> I have an armor class of five. Oh my god! <laughs> Can I put out, this is my notes now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. That's so basically, amazing. I can't miss Gav. <laughs> Jesus. I have legit the most colorful. I just want a high AC. Ross at one text. You know what's funny? What? During the long rest, I gained two points of intelligence. Oh <laughs> do, you, do you have regrets, Kokka? Nope. <laughs> hey, I'm not increasing my wisdom. <gasps> That's true. What is your wisdom? Twelve. <laughs> oh. My is higher than yours. Is honestly. My charisma is minus two. Uh, okay. I feel like your wisdom should go down for that, to be honest. Strike <laughs> <laughs> down and Okay. Yep. Um, we should get more caster. Might need it. So over yeah, the uh, here's an idea. You should get get oh me to your mama master. Anti- you need it. Oh my God, you're the anti Matthias. Everything hits you. It's amazing. <laughs> Do I even lose AC if I get um. Even in medium armor, isn't heavy armor the only thing with a set AC? Yes. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Start getting that feet chain. <laughs> I mean, medium armor might help, but still. Actually, yeah, that's true, because it'll, be, it'll only be... No, it's only a max no. of plus two. Has no mind. Yeah, no, it's, yeah you can go minus four. Literally, you can't even be But it will if, still be better than like Chris okay. on you. Oh, ah, ah. Gav, if you ever want to have a turn again, I would recommend you take the alert feat. Why not just have like minus four? Like technically a minus issue still go. Nah. Nah. So Gav, you're welcome to nah. level up. You still need the spell book, by the way. Um oh, level twelve. Um Okay. Okay, so Fucking hell. Should we oh. leave it here? On that that's, that's, a, that's a neat end point. I think, I think we'll leave it here and we'll start with Kolkhammer's new arm next session. Uh, that seems like a good way to Jesus. leave Kolkhammer hanging. Because I want to torture Jerry and or because I don't want to have to deal with that after this nonsense for a week at least. 
What do I get at level 12? So, thanks for watching me and my note taking if I ever bother uploading these. Because I'm good at that. I'll see me next time.